the beginning that you have made me. The city was uh, expanding rapidly due to the uh, very large wave of uh, immigration. At the beginning of the 1920s, there were only 2,000 uh, residents in Tel Aviv. By the end of that decade, by the end of the 1920s, there were already uh, 40,000 residents of the city. It was actually growing uh, 20 times uh, within a decade. City planning uh, in Tel Aviv has always been uh, a response to, to the urgent needs of the time. At the beginning, when it was just a neighborhood, uh, the idea was to build uh, a garden city. Uh, that mean, means uh, small buildings surrounded by uh, gardens. After that uh, more people came to this neighborhood and it was more and more crowded, they had to add, of course, uh, to the small buildings uh, more floors and uh, these really tiny and simple buildings were uh, changed. Um, and planning uh, came to the rescue, you might say, through a very uh, fortuitous uh, encounter uh, between uh, the city of Tel Aviv, which was a new city, and one of the forefathers of, of, of urban planning uh, in the world, and that is uh, Patrick Geddes. Uh, so Tel Aviv was actually very, very lucky to have uh, uh, you know, a genius like Geddes to be, to be planning it. Uh, Geddes was a, a Scottish uh, uh, scholar, uh, he was pretty much sympathetic to the Zionist project, uh, you know, the idea of, of, uh, of, uh, of a project of modernizing an ancient land, uh, uh, yet respecting its, its, its old traditions. Geddes planned uh, Tel Aviv as a, as a garden city for about 100,000 uh, uh, inhabitants, and the idea was that the city should expand to the north uh, along the Mediterranean coast. And this uh, spatial system that he put in place is still um, uh, very much noticeable to the north of uh, Bugrashov Street, let's say from Frischmann, and onwards uh, to the Yalkon. This entire system of, of um, uh, main streets going up north and then smaller streets which create uh, residential blocks and at the center of each block you were supposed to have a pretty large uh, communal garden and uh, that's really the, uh, the creation of Geddes and it lends uh, much of the quality of Tel Aviv uh, even to this day. But the Geddes plan was actually more than a spatial system, it was also uh, in a way a social and cultural system, what he called a cultural acropolis at the center of the city. Now, one of the consequences of, of the Geddes plan was that it actually created this um, uh, distinction or this division growing between two parts of the city. Uh, the south, which is growing uh, in a spontaneous, informal, unplanned way, and the north, which is, which is planned and at the same time uh, supposed to be the more, uh, the more civilized part of the city. This is something that, uh, is, you know, that, has, that has characterized Tel Aviv uh, ever since its, uh, its inception.